welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this OpenTX snippet, I'll show you how to mix your elevator and flaps so you can prevent that ballooning effect you get when you lower your flaps. Let's take a look at the starting radio configuration for this setup. I only have two sources defined. I've got elevator on channel 2 and flaps on channel 5. And then real quick, here are my inputs. I just have four basic inputs, no modifiers. There's nothing special about this configuration. So starting with the mixes page, the first thing I want to show you is the elevator. So I want to establish the baseline operation here. I'll press the model button and you can see that on channel five where my flaps are, I've got full deflection right now and that's because my slider is all the way down. If I move my slider all the way up, my flaps return to the neutral or parked position, which is basically level with the wing. And you can see that the output is reading zero on channel five. For my elevator, when I pull the stick back or pitch up, I have full deflection at negative 100, and when I push the stick forward, I've got full deflection at positive 100. Okay, so when I pitch down, we're going to the right. That's important to remember when you're developing these mixes. Okay, let's get into the model configuration. I've often said when you build mixes, you want to consider first the surface that you want to modify, and then the thing that you want to do that modification. So in this example, when we deploy the flaps, the thing that needs to be modified is the elevator. So when the flaps are deployed, the plane will have a tendency to pitch up and you have to manipulate the elevator by pushing forward on the stick. So that's the surface that we want to manipulate. That's where the mix is going to go. The thing that's going to do the mixing is the deployment of flaps. So what I'll do first is start with the elevator and I'm gonna press on channel two, I'm gonna press the jog dial and I'm gonna click on insert after. And in this one, I will just call this, I'm going to call it FE. And then for source, we need to change that to the left slider. So I'm using the left slider in order to change it to the source. I'll press the jog dial and I'll just, when it's blinking, I'll just move my left slider. And you can see that that source now changes the left slider. And then for weight, this part requires a little experimentation. I'm not sure which way it's going to go, but I'm going to try. So we'll start with the weight of, I only want minor. I don't want, I, when I put those flaps down, I don't want my elevator deflection to go fully off the charts to full deflection. So I'm not gonna use 100%, we're just gonna use a little bit. So I'm gonna set the weight just to try at 5%. Let's see what happens at 5%. Now, the other thing we need to do is you notice that if I leave the weight at 5%, what's going to happen is I'm gonna have a permanent nose down at 5% when the flaps are neutral. We don't want that. So I'm gonna set an offset of negative 5%. And if you look at the lines down here on the bottom of the screen, you can see that they're now returned to zero. Let's see what happens when I deploy my flaps. So I'm gonna bring my slider down on the left and I can see movement on the elevator, which is great. The problem is it's going the wrong direction. So remember I said when I pitch up, I pull down on the stick that pitches up, that would be bad. So if I deploy the flaps, this is where the channel monitor can come in very helpful when you're trying to figure out a mix because you can put your controls through their paces and identify what's going to happen in flight. I know on this plane, when I pull this stick down or pitch up, my output and my mix go to the left. So because my flap mix is also going to the left, I know that's wrong because when I deploy the flaps, that's gonna make it nose up even more. So we have to reverse that. To reverse it, I'll just hit return. We'll edit this line and we're simply gonna flip. We're gonna go from 5% to negative 5%. And then on the offset, we're gonna go from negative 5% to 5%. Now you should see at the bottom, these things should zero out when the flaps are neutral, okay? So at the bottom, that's another thing you can use to help you troubleshoot, is pay attention on the bottom because you can see what's gonna happen on channel two. Okay, so we'll back out of this and now we'll click the model button to go back in the monitor. We'll deploy the flaps and there we go. And now we've got 10% down elevator. That's it, 10% down elevator a very minor amount, and the flaps are fully deployed. And notice I still, if I pitch down by pushing forward on the stick, if I push the stick forward, my elevator continues to move to the right. So that is it. That's how you create an elevator to flap mix. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you did, please subscribe. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.